Hello and welcome, Arce Shim in the Hangar. This is the second episode of our Sinus. Today I will be talking about positive drones, amazing builds and tech stuff, mad pilots, crazy pilots, and RC Shim. Or is this all the same? <laughs> we'll see. So the first thing, positive drones. And this is quite important as we all want to fly our drones in peace and get rid of this negative image that the media is hyping because only bad news sell good. DJI, of course, as being market leader, I guess, uh, tries a few different things to help us and to help themselves by selling their stuff, of course. They uh, actively try to speak with legislation about the minimum weight of dangerous drones because 250 grams is quite low and they want to uh, hire this this minimum weight, which is a good idea. And also, at least in Austria here, our current regulations are quite strict and yeah, you, have to, you have to get a license for everything that has a recording camera, which is crazy. Um, it will get kind of where you guys in the US are. So I think that at the end of this year, we will have to just register everything above 250 gram but the registration should be easier. And also I, I think and I hope that this, this media hype about drones and drones causing uh, accidents or something like this, I think this is going down already. So uh, a lot of the news were demystified as fake news or as nothing happened. So still there, there hasn't been really a bad accident. And, and that's a good thing. But the other thing I really love, here is an image and the link to this report. There is a small PDF that shows the positive use of drones and how many lives have been saved actually using drones in rescue missions in the last one and a half years or so. 42 lives have been saved. So that's a good thing. And we should propagate this news rather than the bad news, I'd say. Another, and it's also kind of an Austrian story, the Red Cross wants to use a Land Rover that has a drone uh, integrated in the, in the rescue system. So that's a rooftop starting drone that is integrated into the car's navigation system, monitor system. Looks kind of fa fancy. I mean the drone they use is an Align something and I didn't hear only good thing about this cop. So maybe that's not the best decision, but yeah. The thing itself, a cool Land Rover with a drone uh, for doing positive stuff is right what we needed. So uh, I think it should be tested this year uh, if it's usable in, in the practical application. So that's a nice thing as well. Let's move on to the cool builds slash tech news section. Uh, I follow this guy for quite some time now. His YouTube nick is Amazing DIY Projects and his most amazing DIY project ever was his first manned multicopter where he had basically a seat and eight gas-powered uh, engines with huge wooden props and he just said, yeah, not just, it, it took him months to build this I guess, he sat there and holds a remote and flies in the woods with, uh, not in the woods, but yeah, he kind of flies with it and it's really awesome. He had problems with the gas engines, I guess, uh, and with, with, all, with all this gear working, actually. So his second attempt at manned multicopter building is an easier one with electric stuff. This one looks... Yeah, I love the way he, he, he works, works these things out, so check out his video. And I hope we will see a first test flight soon, but I guess this, this project is, is, takes, takes some time yet. And also about cool tech stuff. If you have a Tyrannis and if you have a certain flight controller and a telemetry radio receiver, you can combine all this and change your pit settings on your Tyrannis. How cool is this? You no longer need an OSD that supports it like on the Vortex. But over the telemetry channel you can set the pit settings and that's that's awesome. That's I mean it's at the moment I guess it's harder to set up for newbies. Definitely something I want to take a look at. And the other thing I want to do, shout out to Stingy. Uh, I found this cool trick to set your radio timer 
I mean, I use a timer as well on my Terranis stopwatch, so it beeps if I have to land. But sometimes you forget to reset this timer and you can set up the Terranis with some logical switches in a way that if the RSSI value drops because you change the battery, then also the timer resets and that's a cool idea. So another section, amazing FPV or amazing FPV stories. There is this uh, crazy, I think he's a Canadian guy, Gap707, hello to Canada. He flies in the mountains high up there and makes awesome stunning footage and he flew up to a summit and saw some hikers up there and they even <laughs> throw a rock at him and just imagine what can happen in such a situation. So of course I can kind of feel the perspective of the hiker that had very cumbersome hike up there, no people around, just enjoying nature and then some nerdy tech guy comes with his drone and ruins his day so i can understand it but it's not nice okay but uh, really check out uh, gap 707's channel uh, he also flew in the in the woods like crazy i mean metal danny come on <laughs> you have to keep up with this guy and the other section i just made up is mad fpvers and i have two guys that totally fit in there the first is p shaw with his which is crazy. I mean, seriously, you call it backyard banging? <laughs> when doesn't it seem uh, sound wrong? But uh, he really flew like a madman there, and he he rode it. Was the first flight with this new setup. So yeah, that that's how you f how you maiden fly something. So really really cool flying from you, P Shaw, Patrick Shaw. Shout out to you. Already had you in one of my All Stars videos. It was a pleasure. Uh, keep on doing. I mean, you do videos too seldom. Make more videos. Come on. <laughs> and the other, nonetheless, crazy guy is Tommy. Oh my God! And I mean, the thing he performed here, I've never. And still, still, uh, also stated is as an FPVer that does crazy stunts. You're pushed with every video and every video you have to do um, even more crazy stunt and even more risky stuff. And that's totally worse for his shots. I mean, he flew over power loop and through a rooftop. I mean, how it's really, this, this really impressed me. And also the, the tree scraggle that forced him to land there. <laughs> really, really awesome flights. But I want to show you my own progress. I sometimes try to, to fly more acro style and I try to learn the power loop -be loops like you see here. And I found it quite hard to have this backwards momentum, which is the really cool thing about power loops. You have to fly up and when you're about this angle, you have to apply full throttle so you get this backwards momentum and then do a really fast flip. And the thing that's cool uh, to fly then is when you have enough backwards uh, movement speed and, and flip fast, then you fly like this and, and feel this, this uh, awkward movement that, that yeah, it's, it's just cool and I like to do it more often. Of course, the first tries should be way up high and on an open field where you can crash into something. And if you really uh, get used to how to power loop, then you can fly through stuff, backwards over and through it again and that's that's the really nice uh, looking thing that the, the pros do and I'm really far away from this but yeah it, just enjoy uh, acro flying. The other thing that I also tested in maiden flight on the S800. Some of you guys might have waited for me maidening it and it took me some time. It's an awesome flyer. The first hand launch I was, I was amazed at the speed it started right away. Uh, so it's really cool flyer but the video the video transmitter seems to be crap. It even burned out on the second attempt. On my first flights I just had my video setup recording uh, the video quality so I could judge if you can actually fly FPV from this perspective. And I also saw that right on takeoff where I applied full throttle, the video just went black. So the video transmitter or the, the power the power distribution board, yeah, just just forget it. Get your own uh, known to work good FPV transmitter and cam on this plane and then it might work. So that's about the next steps I want to do with the S800. Install a serious FPV gear and cam 
and then I tried again. Yeah, and uh, last but not least, yesterday I had some fun uh, between two rain showers uh, flying the 150 in my backyard here. Uh, this time I tried old 1500 milliamp 3 cell batteries on this four blade setup. I mean, I also tried it with the standard two blades, but you can forget it, it's, it's way too lame. With four blades and 1500 3S, it's kinda okay. I mean, you feel, if you do crazy stuff and have to recover, you, you feel that you have uh, too little power. You get cool flight times, like five or six or even seven minutes. But it's, it's nice to explore stuff with, with the Mini, and I have good range with it. I tested the Cyclops V2 more with the single receiver setup. And I was going behind trees, bushes, but even behind uh, a side of a building. And I got, got quite good range with this. So I'm actually impressed by the, the receiver of the Cyclops V2. Oh, and one thing that I just forgot. Uh, this morning I viewed the next live video from VEC FPV. Shoutouts to you guy. He really has a nice format here and I mean, I didn't watch the whole two hours video. A bunch of people talk about FPV and I, I, I see why this can take quite long. But it was really interesting to hear Chad Kepper from Road Ride or Flight Test uh, talking about his career and about the show, how he made Road Ride. And also Chad Novak, the other Chad, was in there. So it was a nice conversation going on there and I really love this new format. It only has to be a bit shorter, so check out VEC FPV like it's written here. Okay, so that's kind of it. Uh, all the suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. Post me awesome stuff that you want to see in the next uh, episode or just mail me them or send me Facebook messages or whatever uh, kind of communication you prefer. I really love to have awesome stuff in this format here. So thanks for watching. Until the next video. Thank <laughs> you.